Hey everybody, I am John Barker and in today's episode of Here to Record Show and Tell, I want to take you through how you prepare graphics and videos for playback on your HyperDeck Studio Mini. The first thing to note is that you do not have to record videos on the HyperDeck Studio Mini in order to play them back from the HyperDeck Studio Mini. That's just not true. You may have read that online somewhere but it's not true. You can do this through the computer. You'll also notice that I'm using Mac OS for this video, so if there are any Windows users out there watching this and they know how it's done, then do leave a comment below to help other people out. So let's start with motion graphics, things like lower thirds and logos. First of all, I'll open motion and create a project with the right dimensions. In my case, I do everything at 1080p 25, so that's what I'm setting here. And I think 10 seconds is probably long enough. I'll just quickly make a lower third that I can use. So here's my final result. It looks a bit like this. The lower third comes on, stays on for a few seconds, and then goes away again. Now I can export the project as a ProRes 4444, which will include the Alpha channel. And once that's done, I can drag it onto my SD card, insert that into the HyperDeck, and this HyperDeck is connected to the ATEM via two SDI connections. So this will allow for that key and fill. Over on the ATEM software control, I can turn on my upstream keyer one and choose the Luma tab. And then I can set the fill source to HyperDeck and the key source to key and these just correspond to the inputs I've chosen. Then I can pretty much just select pre multiplied key and it'll do all the work for me. And you can see here that I pressed play on the HyperDeck and I can see my lower third fade in and then fade out again. The process is pretty much the same with the chroma key version. In motion, I just added a green solid background to the whole project. Then I exported that and then put it on the same SD card. Over in ATEM control, I can turn on the USK1 and see how it looks. And you can see here it's completely green. So I'll use the chroma tab to uh, set my fill source, which is HyperDeck, and then use Hue and these other sliders to get the chroma key just right. Once I press play on the HyperDeck, you can see the lower third comes in nicely. I do prefer the fill key method, but using the chroma key method means you only have to use one input on your ATEM. Next up, we can talk about normal videos on the HyperDeck. In my case, I have Final Cut Pro 10 here, and I've created a 1080p timeline that I want to export. And you can see here that my project settings match with my ATEM settings, which are 1080p 25. And I'll just export this video as I would with any other video. But in the master file settings, I can choose video and audio. And as a format, I'll choose ProRes. Just choose any of the ProReses is fine. And then I can save it. Once that's finished exporting, I'll drag it onto the SD card just as I did before. Put that into the HyperDeck. And then I can bring my HyperDeck into preview, press play, and fade it to program, and it works nicely. So I hope you find that useful. If you do have any questions, then do let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.